What happens when you reopen many businesses and locations, but the public is not quite ready to return back to any type of public activities or being consumers out here? They're just not quite, you know, they don't want to do it. They don't feel like, you know, like it's safe. So this came out in the Boston Globe, May 22nd, 2020, coronavirus restrictions are slowly being lifted, but some people still aren't going anywhere. Many people say they're not eager to resume normal activities, even if the state says it's okay to start doing so with parameters in place. Yeah, I mean, all of us are not listening to these folks, and I certainly understand. Okay, so, you know, we know we've seen the people on the beaches and seen that multiple times now. And Memorial Day weekend, in fact, they're opening the beaches here in New Jersey. So... Despite some encouraging signs, a global pandemic rages on and expected to continue even through the summer. There are many people that feel like it is too great a risk to be out there right now. There's nothing you could give them that's worth my child or my niece or my nephew. This is what Trudell is saying among the number of people who say that even though some of the coronavirus statistics being tracked by state officials are trending downward and a plan to reopen the economy is underway, they won't be rushing out the front door to sit in a barber chair, place a blanket in the sand or dying out while six feet from others anytime soon until I believe that there's a thorough test plan in place, I don't have enough data to believe it would be safe. Yeah, a lot of people feel that way. I am going to err on the side of caution. Okay, on Monday, Governor Charlie Baker unveiled a long-awaited four-tier approach to start life in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, their numbers are going up really badly. I don't know what he's in a rush for. Each phase will last a minimum of three weeks. And getting to the next point will depend on what the coronavirus health trend look like. Yeah, or what you choose to ignore. In phase one or the start phase, some lab and office space can reopen. Hair salons and barbers can start taking clients by appointment only. And many outdoor activities and spa uh, spaces like beaches, parks, and drive-in theaters can begin welcoming people back with restrictions. The state stay-at-home advisory also morphed into a safer at-home advisory. The next phase, tentatively eyed for June 8th, would expand to retailers, restaurants, lodging, nail salons, and day spas reopening under certain restrictions. The announcement, of course, sparked life and some business owners who are understandably eager to resume operations and start making money again after months of little to no revenue. In some cases, people have defied the governor's plan and skipped a few phases ahead. And while Baker's proposal also has led some residents fantasizing about their dream excursions after months of hunkering down, throwing close encounter, what, what, months? It's only been, what, two months, months? 
What are these people talking about? They act like they've been behind closed doors most of the year. Oh, they, they exaggerate so much. It's not even funny. Okay, in other words, they'll let others go first and wait to see what happens. I'm going to continue to stay home and social distancing until the infection numbers are greatly reduced for much longer sustained periods of time than things reopen, one person replied to a Globe reporter on Twitter, which will surely be premature. A lot of people feel it's premature. According to a recent poll by Sioux Falk University and the Boston Globe, WGBH News, which was conducted in prior to Baker's plan being unveiled, most respondents expressed doubt about heading to the movies, going to the gym, hopping on public transit, and eating out when it's allowed. It's unclear if those sentiments have shifted since the four-phase approach was proposed by state officials. Hmm. The economy has to be open, but slowly, which is better. But in my case, I'm having extra caution. I'm not ready. This is one person that is speaking to the Boston Globe, who is a facility manager at a local college. Even if it is getting better, my mind is not uh, still not ready. He even, as an official, let up slightly. He's trying to avoid whatever is necessary until the numbers truly go down. Going out to restaurants or a movie theater, I'm not taking that risk at this point. A haircut, I can do myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, he's not alone. A lot of people feel that way. You know, many people are like, I don't care what opens. I'm not leaving until I see signs that it's way better now. And we're not seeing that. I just think it's better to be safe than sorry, adding that it is possible we could see a second wave of the virus, which we definitely will be seeing a second wave. This thing hasn't gone anywhere. I'm just going to play it by ear. I have no really set plans yet. I'm just going with the flow and riding the wave. Speaking of waves, what about the beach? Maybe I'll go in my car with the windows down. So as of today, Massachusetts have 91,662 cases and 6,304 deaths. So like everywhere else, their numbers are going up and you can anticipate it's going to go up even more as they go through their phases of reopening the state. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Wow. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.